this is the second time I tried to get this video out because this is a very powerful message and it deleted itself. I was literally recording and in the middle of this recording, it deleted itself off my phone. So I want to make it very clear to everyone watching this video, saints, believers, all the people who claim that they are faithful servants of the Lord. It is time for us to lift up our prayers. It is time for us to cry out to God. It is time to proclaim the everlasting gospel. My heart goes out to the unbelievers right now. I'm not going to tell you what happened today, but something happened today that really woke me up to the times that we are living in. And I want to and I assure you all right now, we are in a war zone. We are on the battlefield right now. We are on the deadliest battlefield. The amount of temptation and sin that is in this world, engulfing the world and the people in it is unprecedented. But God and his, his almighty gospel we have in our hearts to proclaim. God is in us. Don't let the devil use fear against you. Don't let the devil take away your courage. Don't let the devil discourage you. Don't let the devil get in the way. The world is lost. The world is going. The world is going to make us fall if we do not keep our eyes on Jesus Christ. Don't fear anything. They even if they persecute us, even if they kill us, even they, if they boil us alive, even if they hate on us, if they spit on us, if they whip us, if they hang us, no matter what they do, it is time to endure. I only boast in the Lord and not in myself. It is time for us to wake up, church. It is time for us to lift our prayers and lift our hands to the almighty God. We are in these last days, and I assure you, I'm telling you, and in fact, y'all, This is so serious right now. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, listen to this message. Don't get distracted. So many of us waste our time every single day playing video games and worrying about who's cooking for us tomorrow and what everything, everything's going on in the world. We worry about everything else but God. And we forget about the people who died for the testimony of Christ, who died. The apostles who were persecuted because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the amount of people who are lost, who are getting exalted right now and deceiving the nations right now. And we're too busy worrying about ourselves and our own worldly, worldly carnal lusts. But what are you thinking about? Are you thinking about this life? This life is nothing but a vapor. It, go, it comes and goes just like that. But what about your eternity? What about your eternity? Are you going to choose this day who you will serve? Will you choose the almighty God or will you choose Satan? Will you choose darkness or will you choose the light? Or will you choose to be hot or cold for the Lord? Will you choose the one who has created a place of peace and prosperity forever and ever in heaven for us? Or will you choose the one who tries to destroy us day and night every single day in this world? Will you choose the light? Or will you choose the darkness? As believers, we are the light of the world. The heart of God and God's love is in us. So why not we just share it? There are so many people who don't even have the opportunity to experience the love of God. Because of the world. And because of how they grew up. It is time for us to lift our voice. It is time for us to go to the streets, to increase our frequency across the net and across the world. It is time to increase our influence. It's time to increase, increase our prayers. It is time to increase the signs of the believers. It is, a sign, it is time for us to preach the fire of the living gospel, to preach the fire of the Holy Spirit that is in us. Because one day, the world will be judged. Right now, the judgment is about to come. We don't have all this time left. We don't have all these years till Jesus comes. We don't have time, all this time till the rapture. We will be gone like that. In this nick of time, we will be gone. And the rest of the world will be at the fate of Satan and the judgment of God. 
So do what we need. We need to do what we need to do right now to save as many souls as possible and gather souls for Jesus. We are in these last days. We are in the times of the great deception. We are in the times that are in the revelation. We are times of prophecy. We are in times of sorrows. This earth, this world is the battleground. We are in war. This is war between good and evil. This is war between God and Satan. This is war between the between the believers of Jesus and the and the haters. This is the war between the light of the world, uh, the believers and the darkness, the lusts of the world. This is ta this is the spiritual warfare between the carnal mind and the mind of the spirit. So who are you? Are you like the one that is in us? Or are you like the one that's in the world? If you are like the one in the world, you will perish. But if you are like the one who is in you, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God himself, then you will prosper. Then you will go up to heaven. Then you will have right to the tree of life. We need to wake up right now. We need to wake up. I'm dead serious right now. I am dead serious. I can't explain to you how serious I am. And God has put this on my heart right now. The amount of temptation. I'm going to give you all a, little, a short little testimony of what went on today. The amount of temptation that happened today. Proved to me how bad and how serious the spiritual warfare is. To the point where I'm even like. It is so. This is war. In a war zone, would you be playing video games? Would you be listening to secular music? Would you be spending your time in the world? Or would you be spending your time on the battlefield? Would you be spending time on trying to defend yourself and have defense and save the civilians from the enemies that are shooting bullets at you? Some of you who've been in the ministry know, know this. When those bullets start flying, what are you doing? Are you focusing on that? Or are you focusing on that next MRE that you're going to eat tomorrow morning? Or that next MRE you're going to eat before you go to sleep? What are you focusing on? Are you focusing on this world? Your life in the world? Are you focusing on the lust of the world? Are you focusing on the things that the world can offer? Are you Or are you focusing on the eternity? Are you focusing on heaven? Are you focusing on saving souls? Are you focusing on being that faithful servant of God that you say you are? Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, God is raising up the power of the church. God is about to exalt the church like in insane levels. But are you a part of that church? Are you a part of that group of the people that God is about to bring up? Or are you part of the flesh that is in this world and that's going to be deceived? Are you going to be a part of the lost that's going to need us to come save you? What are you? What are you in these last days? Are you the world or are you like the son of God? Are you like God? Are you like the spirit that is in you? Are you like the fire of the Holy Spirit that is in every single believer? Are you like the fire that God has given you? Or are you like the world? Are you like the darkness that's in the world? Are you like Satan who, who is the prince of the earth that goes out to deceive, kill, steal, and destroy? What are you? This is war. This is war. And great judgment is about to come upon this earth. Right now we are living in the times of sorrows and great, great deception. So are you going to be the light in the world that leads people away from the deception? Are you going to be the darkness that engulfs people in it? Are you going to be the darkness that gets burned in the lake of fire? Are, are you going to be the light that it gets glorified in the kingdom? Are you going to be that wicked, lazy servant that hid his manna inside the dirt? Or are you going to be that good servant that took what he had, took those gifts that he had from God, took those things that God has given them and multiplied it? Are you going to be like how Saul, Saul used to be before he became Paul? Or are you going to be like Paul? Are you going to stay where Saul was? Are you going to become like Paul and, 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 and manifest in the renewing of your mind? 
Are you going to be stuck in the lust of the world? Or are you going to live in the righteous path that God has planned for each and every one of us? Are you going to live up to the potential that God has given us? Or are you going to live to the potential that you want to see in yourself from the world? Are you going to compare yourself to the world? Or are you going to live with righteousness, in righteousness, in the kingdom of heaven? What are you going to do for eternity? I'm dead serious right now, y'all. I'm dead serious. This is the battleground. This is war. This is the end. This is when we need to really start praying. And this is when we really need to start focusing on God. Because the more you are high in the spirit is the more the devil will attack you. Through dreams, through other people, through lust, through through all the things that go against God's word. And I promise you, you will hate it. You will hate hell. You will hate it so much. You will hate it so much. I don't, I would never wish that on anyone. Why do people choose to hate God? God loved us so much that he made his spirit out of his own so that even though he is in heaven and we are on earth, that we can always be together and that he is in us. Why would you choose hate over love? Why? What is the point? What is the point of choosing Satan over God? What is the point? Of going in the wrong direction when you can live as a king and a queen in the kingdom of righteousness forever. What is the point of living your life just to perish? What is the point of just being here to be a pawn of the enemy? What is the point of just being here as a statue? Why not be the light in the world? Why not be like Christ? Yes, we will be persecuted. Yes, we will be killed. Yes, we will be silenced by the government. Yes, our videos will be taken down. Yes, we will be boiled in boiling wa water. Yes, we will be killed and blasphemed. Yes, we will be hated. Yes, we, be, we will be spit on. Yes, we will be whipped. Yes, we will be cast out from the world and be outcast. But isn't that the same thing that Jesus went through? If Jesus was able to do it, being the God he is, the son of God, then why can't we do that? Why can't we suffer for God? He suffered for us. So why be lazy now and be that wicked servant and not suffer for him? This gospel, the consequence of the gospel on the earth is persecution. It is the hating, being hated by the earth. But guess what God will do? God will destroy the wicked. God will destroy the, the deceitful. God will destroy evil. God will destroy the prostitute. God will destroy the beast. God will destroy the false prophets. God will destroy all evil. God will bound Satan and cast him into prison and then send him to the lake of fire. God will avenge our blood. So why not die for him now instead of live for Satan and get and be perished in the lake of fire forever that burns with fire and brimstones forever and ever. And have the smoke of our flesh be rising forever. Why not suffer now and be avenged by almighty God? than to exalt ourselves in this world and perish. This life is not meant to be comfortable. Ever since Adam and Eve made that, made, committed the first sin, ever since the first sin was commit, committed, living as a Christian was never meant to be comfortable. It's meant to be uncomfortable. Be uncomfortable now so you can live in comfort for the rest of your life. Everyone on this earth will die at some point. So where will you go for eternity? How will you be judged on judgment day when the books open? When the books are open, how will you be judged by the Ten Commandments? How will you be judged by the law? How would you be be judged by your faith? How will you will you be judged by you how, the, by your fruit? Have you spent your life spreading bad fruit? Have you spent your life keeping your mouth shut of the gospel?
Have you spent your mind being closed? Or have you exalted the kingdom? Have you exalted God? Have you brought the kingdom down to earth? Have you radiated his life on the people that need it most? Have you preached to the lost? Have you healed the sick? Have you laid hands and done the miracles that was promised to every believer? Have you believed? Have you walked in faith? Have you turned away from sin? Have you done the things that God has commanded us to do? Did you walk the walk of a true believer or did you walk the walk of the flesh? The flesh is nothing but dust. This life is nothing but a vapor. We were created by dust and as we were come from dust, we will return as dust. And our spirit will be eternal. Our spirit is eternal. Our flesh is nothing. Don't fear what man can do to you. Don't fear what the government can do to you. The devil the, oh, the devil will try everything to hurt us. But through God who strengthens us, we will be avenged. We will be named righteous among all men. We will be exalted in the kingdom. We will receive glorified bodies. We will be able to have a seat on the throne with God. But what do you choose? Where do you stand? Where do you want to be? It's time to wake up, church. This is war. This is the battleground. This is the end. We are in the times of sorrows. The lost need our help. The lost need God's love. The lost need, needs Jesus more than ever before. Deception will never stop. So why should we? The war will never stop till Jesus begins his thousand year reign. Why should we stop? The devil will never stop slithering around trying to deceive people like a snake. Why should we stop proclaiming the gospel like God? Why not we continue to boast in God and not ourselves? The wicked will continue in their ways to exalt themselves and exhaust the world and promote the lust of the world. So why not us promote the gospel and proclaim the living gospel that lives forever? For heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word is eternal. Bring the kingdom to earth. It is time for the fire of God to engulf the earth, to destroy the wicked and put shame on the faces of the wicked so that they may repent it is time to let the people know that Jesus is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And he is coming with great wrath on his day. And he will smite the nations with a sword from his mouth. And we need it's time for us to let people know that God loves them. God loves him so much that he gave his only son so that he who believes him in him should not perish but have everlasting life forever and ever. In the kingdom of God, glorified and exalted in the presence of the King of kings and the Lord of lords, God Almighty. Can I get an amen? Can I get a hallelujah for that? And when you say that hallelujah, open up the window and yell out, Jesus is king. Blow your shofars, blow your trumpets. It is time to raise the voice of God and the nations of the world. It is time to bring up Jerusalem. It is time to bring up the God of Israel. It is time to bring up God Almighty. It is time to praise him on the throne. It is time to worship him on the throne. It is time to bring the kingdom of God to the earth and bring shame on the face of the wicked and bring righteousness to the world. It is time to be the light of the world that God has called us all to be in the name of Jesus. Right now, we are in an era that blasphemes God. We're in an era where it's almost impossible to escape temptation. We are in an era where it is so hard to get people to change their mind. People are so tunnel vision and, and they're not very open, open minded. People are always so angry. All the music that's going out that's so angry and deception, just, just deceiving. All the things, all these false prophets, everything is just out of line. But God is a God of love, honor, and order. And God is, is calling us to bring the order to the world. God is God's calling us to bring his love into the world. And right now, 
the type of temptation I felt today, the type of spiritual warfare that I went through today alone woke me up and told me, to let me know that this is war. Don't let yourself get distracted by video games and get distracted by the world, but always let your mind be on God. This world will put you away from God. This world will put you into the lake that burns with brimstone and fire forever. This world will put you into hell. Our mission on this earth is to spread the gospel and live righteously so that we and others do not go to hell. So let this be a reminder. We are in the battleground. We are in the battlefield. This is war between God and Satan. This is spiritual warfare between the righteous and the evildoers. This is a war between light and darkness. Choose this day who you will serve. Will you choose the one true God or will you choose Satan, that serpent? Will you choose the evil and the lusts of the world, or will you choose the almighty God that gave us salvation by the blood of Jesus Christ? Or will you choose God who loves us so much that he gave us our own mind, that he gave us not a spirit of fear, but a power and a sound mind? Are you going to choose Satan that tries to destroy you every single day? Are you going to choose God who created a place for us to live in peace for eternity? It's time to wake up, church. It's time to wake up, saints. It's time to wake up, believers. We have the strength of God in our hands. We have the strength of God in this world. Nothing in this world can defeat God. And if nothing in this world can defeat God, then nothing in this world can, can, can defeat us. So it's time to stand strong. It is time to grow up. It is time to wake up and it's time to wake up this world. We may be killed for our, our, our testimonies. We may be persecuted. We may be hated. We may be spit on. We may be whipped and hanged for what, for what we believe in. But I surely tell you this day that God will redeem us and God will have his revenge. And God will avenge all of us. This life on this earth is nothing but a vapor. This life starts and it goes. But what do you want to see for your eternity? Right now, we can't talk about our, our world. We can't talk about the things that are going on in the world. We need to focus on eternity because if we focus on eternity, if we focus on eternity, then the heart of God will be in us. The amount of things, the amount of people who are out there dying every single day for the gospel. And we sit there on our phones watching videos and playing video games all day. We sit there and complain about all these things in the world, but forget about the fact that there are people out there suffering. And there's people out there dying for the gospel. Don't dare say that you serve God if you have not endured a single bit of what they went through. Generations of godly people gave up their life for God. And Jesus came down in the flesh, manifested in the flesh, did not sin, did not deserve to die, but died for us on the cross, became sin so that we shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So why shall you be silent? Why be silent and keep your mouth shut? Why neglect the people who are lost? Why neglect your enemies? Because those are the ones who need God most. And God is love. The power of God's love is in us. The power of God, the power and love of God is the strength of our bones and our body. We are the temple of Christ. So as a temple of Christ, we are representatives of the kingdom. We shall bring the kingdom to earth right now. We won't have very long. We don't have much more time on this earth. We don't have all this time. And I feel so bad for the lost because they are missing out on a whole lot. And my heart goes out to them right now. But us, the saints, believers, the church, it is time to wake up the world. It is time to rise up. 
at this point, I don't care if, if the government starts looking for me. I don't care if I get persecuted, if I get killed, if I get boiled alive for my testimony. I will share it with pride because I boast only in the Lord and not in myself. I don't care about what the world has for me to uh, to offer me because I only care about what God has prepared for me in, in the everlasting life that he's prepared for every believer. We are warriors, soldiers of God, strong and mighty in Jesus' name. We have the blood of Christ that saves us by grace every single day. Put on your sackcloth and repent. Cry out to the Lord, for he is mighty and he will save us and he will avenge our blood. Anything that the devil or any enemy has done against us, God will avenge. Great judgment is coming upon the earth. And I assure you this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Great judgment. The God, the almighty God is about to lift up his church. But for those who are lost and continue to live in fear. Dude, for those who continue to be unbelievers. Those who continue to hate and blaspheme God. Great judgment will fall upon them. So it's time for us to rise up in Jesus' name and proclaim the everlasting gospel. It is time for us to rise up as God's saints, as God's warriors and God's soldiers. Because we are the light of the world. Do not let the gospel be in vain. Do not let the gospel go away. If we know that there's something in us that God can use to help the world, then use it. If you're a musician, then use it for God and save souls. Music is one of the most powerful things in the world. God has given it to us, so use it. If you're a good speaker, if you're good at reading the Bible, if you're good at talking to people, or if you're good at giving and loving people, if you're good at healing and doing miracles, then do it in Jesus' name. And the kingdom shall come to earth in mighty power and light in the name of Jesus. My heart is really crying out for the lost right now because there's so many people, even family members right now, that are in such darkness. Now, I hope this rest is, lets y'all know this is what we must do. Increase your prayers. Lift up your hands. Lift up your voice. Go outside and preach to the streets. Go from door to door, street to street, city to city, and preach the everlasting gospel because God, because God is the Almighty and God is number one. And guys, we are in the battleground. We are in these last days. We are at war. This is war. This is war. So please, don't just be a statue. Be the servant that you say you are. Be the believer that you say you are. Be like Christ. God bless you all. May the Lord be with us all. In Jesus' name. I love you all. God loves you all. Shalom.